This is the first trip I am ever vlogging, so uh, I'm sure there's going to be lots of vocal stumbles and again with me saying a goodbye every time I, uh, you know, uh, close the camera, but I'm, I'm, I'm working, I'm working on it! Yeah, there you go. You're not the only one working on it, babe! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need to put my seatbelt on, so, yeah. You excited? <laughs> Very excited. Where are we going? Oh, to the land of the Canucks. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to the beauty of our vacation. We made it to COVID. <laughs> Start of vacation! We are officially here. We landed in the late last night at about 11.40 and we landed in uh, Vancouver. So that's where we are right now. We just picked up our rental car. Uh, it looks pretty nice. And of course there's a bunch of shenanigans that tried to foil our plans. Um, not just with the rental car, but also, you know, coming to Vancouver. Um, yeah, but we're on our way and I'm so excited. You excited? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. He's, he's not gonna... Could, I mean, yeah. we need some Kool-Aid. <laughs> Uh, what we don't need Kool-Aid, but what we do need is food. Yeah, yes. so we're getting food. Oh yeah, food, food, food is 100% important. Food is number one. And actually, this may be the first time uh, people see you. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. This is Ryan! <laughs> <laughs> my boyfriend, love of my life, uh, resident goofball and uh also seems to be a pedo with how he's stroking his beard what was that about <laughs> no you kidding me i got like the whole like what's it called um portuguese like look going <laughs> that's an insult to the portuguese <laughs> no because i know what you mean you're like saying you have the handlebar mustache oh yeah you don't you have a full beard i know i have the full beard <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we are on our way leaving the airport going to uh get food and any last words before we officially embark Working on it. <laughs> We're working on it. All right. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>just driving from the airport and somebody already loves it here. Mm -hmm. This actually feels like Canada though. It's like... It is Canada. Yeah. It's part of Canada. I know, but it's just like this, like, when I feel, like, Canada, like, I feel stuff like this. It's like, I don't feel like, sorry, some places you feel in Toronto. Sorry, Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, Toronto's always going to be the home, the home base. But, uh, yeah, no, just driving down and just being able just to see a gorgeous mountain. I'm definitely... I love the mountains and I, I mean, I would definitely would want to live closer to one just for the sheer joy they bring me. But, uh, yeah, no, we have, we have people stay in, the right in other two places. Lanes. We will stay in the right two lanes. Thank you. You have anything else you'd like to say to the vlog right now? <laughs>
No. Mm-hmm. Got myself a mimosa to start the trip off. Nice. Got my hands. Looking super cute, as always. Hey, Poppy, I'm so good. My food is coming, but this is the lobster and shrimp eggs that he It is incredible. Ryan also got a side of bacon and his own mimosa. <laughs> and now here is my pizza. Oh my god. It looks incredible. And I also got a coffee. Yeah. Oh my god. This pizza's driving through Stanley Park. Even though this is not the most exciting view. Ooh. Bumps. So we just pulled up to Stanley Park and we're just going to walk around, stroll for a bit, take in the sights. Yeah, even though it is raining. Hence why the hat is on. We'll get the windbreaker raincoat thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then what are we doing after this? If we get the opportunity, where are we oh. going? Well, after Stanley Park, we are going up to the suspension bridge. Yes. Do we remember what the suspension bridge is called? Oh, you are asking somebody who is terrible at remembering names. <laughs> I can do math and physics and chemistry. I can... And computer science. You cannot get me to remember names for Jack. <laughs> <sighs> well, yeah, well uh, we will definitely... Uh, Keep you in the loop, though. Capilano Suspension Bridge Park. Capilano Suspension Bridge Park. Mm-hmm. It's a park. Yeah, it takes an hour or two to go through. I hope I'm able to capture some moments uh, while we walk around Stanley Park on this camera. If not, then I'll definitely take a few clips, or more than a few, let's be honest, on my phone. So, I like the Ooh. rain. What? What's that? We actually might have to leave after this. I think I got the time wrong on it. I think it starts at 1. Don't worry, we can still see it, but yeah, I think we gotta go after this. After what? Just after this? Yeah. Okay, we... <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Let's get this show on the road! And just stunning. Isn't that right, lovey? Whoa! Sorry? <laughs> Almost got run over by a cyclist. Yeah. What do we think? You happy? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Me too. Come here. Keep, keep, keep. <laughs> Solidary speak. Yeah. God, this is a nice harbor front. Wow, this is nice. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I was torn down during the 1950s. Mm -hmm. yeah. After the lights automation was the onset of modern ship navigation and the need for a keeper. I'm gonna take this off. Goddamn scientists and engineers. <laughs> because of our uh, needing to do the suspension bridge sooner than we would have liked or uh, thought uh, originally, we will need to head out of Stanley Park. But at least we got to experience some of it, and I'm going to 
take a couple more photos uh, before we leave and walk back to the car. What? What are you giggling about? Oh, just something I wouldn't be mentioning on the WhatsApp group. I'm like, guys can still plan vacations and not mess up. <laughs> <sighs> oh well. <laughs> just minor things. Just minor <laughs> things, yeah. Suspension bridge was highly recommended, you would say? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He's in his go 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 driving mode, so he's not talking at the moment. Yes, sir. I <laughs> am like optimizing everything as possible. That's fine. Uh, including driving. Safety, but yep. No worries. Alright. That's rock and roll, babe. I'm just gonna do... Yeah, take take a photo. That's the smart thing to do. Yeah. Or you could do the cure code, just just... Yeah. Fine. <laughs> what <a> is <laughs> this? <laughs> the Capilano trap. Okay. All the artifacts from way back when. Very nice. This is really cool. And there's a giant crow. <laughs> Elizabeth fell in love with a charming Lego Scotsman 20 years her junior. 20 years her junior. Yeah, what's your excuse? <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> Mac McEatron was a local forest ranger. He had been a captain in the Royal Flying Force based in Egypt. Mac was a hard-working romantic Scotsman. Perhaps it was a little bit French style with a captivated Mac where he returned his love and they were married in August 1921. Yeah. I like this a bit of fact where it says down here the home was concerned about the strength of the cables, and in 1914, apparently, they added new cables to the existing ones and used concrete blocks as anchors. So it's pretty cool how they were able to structure everything and keep everything secure, even <laughs> way back when. Mac Let's worked see. in warehouses in Tahiti for rum runners during the Prohibition. <laughs> So Mac was a bad boy, <laughs> and Elizabeth had a thing for him. <laughs> That's women, women, like the bad boys, women like them bad boys, except you know then when you're. I know, baby. I know. We don't approve of the bad boys now that we're older and wiser. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What'd you find now, love? Oh. Older sisters. All I'm gonna say. <laughs> Excuse me, I am, I am a, a wonderful older sister. Scott, if you're watching this, back me up. Please and thank you. Yeah, yeah you know, you can say, yeah, you're a good older sister, but you know, hmm. you're still an older sister. That's kind of cool, though, and it says here that apparently when Elizabeth died, he sold the property to, Mahone sold the property to Mac. And he said about advertising the bridge as the eighth wonder of the world. Wow. He introduced a native theme to the park, commissioning carvings and totem poles from the local Calapano band. Oh, that's lovely. I like that they, he actually commissioned them. And Now that we've read all about it, let's go see this beautiful beauty spot. Never buy it. We are still learning stuff. And in 2011, the Clift Walk opened. Now can we go? <laughs> yes. Go this way. <laughs> All right. Actually, wait. Do one more thing. I need to go to the bathroom. Sure. I shouldn't ask. I can. I can hold it. Okay. I got it. No. I can. Baby. Ryan. Just let me help. And then. <sighs> Oh my god. Look at this sight. Can we focus? Can we focus? Focus. Mm -hmm. 
I hope you were able to see my face this whole time because apparently it was in not in autofocus, it was in manual focus. So if I was blurry, my apologies. But wow. This is as I said, this is incredible. Absolutely. And we're not even further on the bridge, we're just at this viewing point while I wait for Ryan. Photos, it's just while you're crossing, they need to be on. Okay, thank you. Let me know you want me to take photos of you. Okay. Oof. Oh my god. <laughs> So we're going along the bridge right now. <laughs> How are you doing? Hi. <laughs> Trying to get you in too, my love, but it's hard. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Make it easier, I'll come up right next to you. Yeah. Oh, wow. And even a bit of the mountain in the background. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I just... It's interesting on how they actually got the bridge set up. Jeez Louise. Hmm? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, that would have been a nice shot. Okay. I'm gonna turn it on you now. If you want to... Nice little photo or a moment in a the video. Oh, there you go. Hey. <laughs> Not the most vlog friendly course, but uh. <laughs> oh man. So good. Doing good, love. Feeling better. Oh yeah. I'm just trying to balance up the weight. Keep me from wobbling. Keep me from wobbling? Well, I'm keeping the bridge from wobbling. Oh, true. All these bugs here. Yeah. My uncle's in charge of. Your uncle is in charge of all the bugs. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, he's now the director. He used to work for Ontario in that area. Now he's like moved up, and he's like the director of all, thinking all the government. So <laughs> he's a federal bug guy. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but that's still cool. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Don't worry. He bugs you out. <laughs> yeah, definitely gonna grab my sweater. I'm gonna set you guys down somewhere. Where should I put y'all? I will put you right here. Back to my 90s roots. Things are wrapped in tight around the waist. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I know, just nobody's around. I can take off the mask a little. Yes, you can. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Oh, sweet. The fact that we get to do that soon. Oh, I hope I'm in frame. If not, oh well. Suspension <laughs> bridge. Now we get to do the Treetop adventure. Hmm? I think termites have gone at these trees. <laughs> Nothing more romantic than termite talk. <laughs> Thanks, love. <laughs> All right. Cute. Attention. Extreme nature ahead. <laughs> Up, up, up we go. And that's a bad skeleton. Ah. <laughs> so cool. I think that's a frog. Yeah. That's a beaver. I didn't even need to look at that. I just know by the teeth. <laughs> 
I can't believe I'm still. Oh, baby. Can you hold the camera? <laughs> Me too. Try put things on. Yeah. I mean, that, and you're also pushing the camera right up my boobs. <laughs> Is this on video? It's on video. So you've been <laughs> recording my boobs. <laughs> Darn, and that was non intentional. Oh, I know. Uh, more leg workouts. More death grip on my camera. <laughs> exactly. Okay, yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay. Aww. I'm sorry. It's no. all, it's a okay. She understands completely. <laughs> <laughs> not going to be him in a second, so. <laughs> yeah, Maybe not. Not. <laughs> Can she do this going upstairs? <laughs> As again, to the boobs. <laughs> Stop looking at my boobs. <laughs> Hey, that is not intentional. It's just happening that way. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> all the angles is all I'm gonna say. I'm <laughs> funny. <laughs> you are very funny, my love. Yeah, these trees are insane. <sighs> Great choice, babe. Yeah. In case we're everyone wondering on the vlog, Ryan's the one that planned this vacation. I did help. Yeah, could be wrong on that. What about an Ontario baby? I think they have hemlock trees out there. Could be wrong though. They absolutely can, but hem hemlock is poison. <laughs> I did not know that actually. You didn't know hemlock is poison? As a tree? Yeah. Oh, well, the hemlock root. Ah, okay. It's poisonous. It's apparently, I think, I can't remember. Maybe the philosopher Plato died from hemlock poisoning. It was either Plato. I think it might have been another one. Uh, Aristotle? Might have been Aristotle because the thing is, Plato is they don't know who he was specifically. So it might have been a collection of philosophers too. Yeah, well, I think that could be that. But I know there was one famous philosopher that was killed by hemlock. That's cool. Yeah, because they well they made him drink a hemlock tea, so that he would die. I don't think it was um. Fuck, Hippocrates? I don't think it was Hippocrates. I don't think they would. You think it could have been Hippocrates? Yeah, that memory says <sighs> We will fact check this later, or people in the comments will be screaming it. Ah! Oh, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, you got a fear amount of people watching. <laughs> Plus, you know, they can always cop on and just Google everything and be like, ah, you know, like a troll. Trolls are welcome. <laughs> I love a troll. Oh, it is the weed hemlock. Oh, not the tree hemlock, the weed mm -hmm. hemlock. Skunk cabbage. Hmm. Oh, Socrates and Phocion. Of course, it's Socrates. Mm -hmm. The one, the one, no, there's lots of famous philosophers, but I'm like, I went through the whole big ones with that Socrates. You are right, though, that Plato described the death of Socrates to the hemlock. Yes. So, I, yeah, I'm not. You weren't too far off. So, like, I still You're hold my smart. dirty blonde status. I'm smart, but I'm not too smart. <laughs> I'm kidding. I am I'm a very smart person. Oh, yeah. I will I will not be modest in that. I will toot my own horn. Um, yeah, I didn't even know that, but that did sound right, though. <laughs> some oh, well. 
I yeah. just didn't have it remembered off the top of my head. Aww. Now you want to go back up that way or do you want to keep on this way? Pawn pals. Oh my god. <laughs> You're beautiful. She agrees. <laughs> <laughs> How old is she? She's 17. So she's a senior. Mm. Uh, in the wild, they wouldn't make it past nine. Really? Wow. So you make it to middle age in the wild and then you get taken out by someone younger, stronger, who would like your food in your territory. Mm. Normally one of your own kind who oh, really? has no sense of anything except that they want your food in your territory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So she is in her prime. Uh, she goes 320 kilometers in a dive. She's the second fastest diving. The first is the peregrine falcon. Okay. They go 420 kilometers in a dive. She's 320. And going straight, she's the fastest animal on the planet. At 150 kilometers an hour, she's faster than a cheetah. Wow. So she's not just a pretty face. And for the last seven years, she's still done bird control because if you walk with her on your glove, Anywhere where there are seagulls, they'll leave. Wow. They're afraid of her, and they don't stop to find out if she's going to fly and kill them. They just, you know, move on. She's my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a fan of a seagull. No. No. Uh, and she worked a number of years ago at Granville Island. Have you ever been down? No. So they've got an open market uh, place where you can sit and eat. Oh, yeah. And buy your food. So people buy their food, they come out of the door, the seagull dive bombs, and there's french fries everywhere. And then the seagull's friends come in and eat them. Mm -hmm. And they were starting to steal muffins out of kids' strollers. And yeah. They're just obnoxious. And they're big. Yeah. And uh, so... Yeah, that's what happened to me when I was young. <laughs> yeah, so she worked uh, a number of years at Granville Island. And uh, she would come when people were eating dinner, and as long as she's there, the seagulls are not, they're not attacking no one. Still kind of settling in here. It's the first year that she's been here. So, I mean, we're getting close to the end of the season now for, uh, for the bird display here. But uh, still, you know, she's only out here once or twice a week. So there's lots of things here she still is trying to make sure aren't going to come down and get her. No, you're fine. Good girl. I'm a bit nervous there for something. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, last week there was a barred owl. It's like every week there's something new that she has to like deal with, which is good. I mean, that's immersion to different different things, so she gets used to stuff. But the barred owls that live in this forest, one of them went and landed in a tree back here somewhere. We couldn't see it. She was very aware of it mm. and stared up into that tree for like 40 minutes, and everybody again was like, well, why isn't she looking at us? <laughs> she was watching that owl and making sure it's not going to come down here and get her. Um, you know, one thing that owls are aware of is that they don't make any noise and therefore the only thing that poses a really, really big threat to them is another owl. Mm. They cannot hear one coming behind them. So she's going to want to make sure she knows that owl is there and that that owl knows that she knows it's there. So she actually talked to it a little bit. She hooted a couple times like, I see you. <laughs> yeah, can't come and get me. And that's common that they try to take each other yeah, they're yeah. incredibly territorial. Um, so, I mean, Gandal here, she knows that this is not her territory. Who's up? What's over there? What do you see? <laughs> what do you see? <laughs> Aww. So, I mean, that's their biggest threat in the wild, is another owl coming along and taking their territory. And mm -hmm. their, food source, their food source, basically. Mm -hmm. So, to do that, it's just eliminate the competition. Okay. It's like how stable it is whenever it's trying to be aware of something. Oh yeah. Like yeah, they're good. They're good at locking eyes on. And yes, they do have. They do all have that head stability thing, the built-in gimbal. So yep. you know that kind of equates to like if you, you know, she's on a stable surface now, relatively my arm, until I start flinging it around. Um, but if she's sitting on a branch, she's usually going to be on a pretty stable branch. But if she is sitting on a smaller branch and that branch is moving, she wants to keep her eye on something. Her head will stay absolutely still, and her body will. Mm -hmm. shift around it. <laughs> <laughs> That's very cool. 
<laughs> it's hard to see with her because she's big and fluffy, but um, the little American kestrel that they bring out here sometimes, you can really see it's a tiny little falcon. Mm. And, you know, because it's such a small bird, that any little tiny gesture you make with your hand, mm -hmm. her body's moving, and if she's looking at something, you know, <laughs> they're very good belly dancers. <laughs> 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 oh yes, that's weird when you can get feeling back in your little finger suddenly. <laughs> and her name is Gandalf? Gandalf. It was Gandalf originally, but of course it's a girl, so it's Gandalf. Yeah, I heard the name over there and I'm like, they have a Gandalf? <laughs> <laughs> she matches um, your little uh, mic cover quite nicely. Yes, she <laughs> does match my road mic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what do these mostly hunt? What do they hunt? Yeah. Um, uh, her favorite food is going to be rodents, like things that are small, that are easy to catch, not terribly um, likely to hurt her, and um, that she can eat in one bite and get back to into her tree. She wants to spend as little time on the ground as she possibly can. Mm -hmm. um, she can take much larger prey if she needs to. I mean, she'll eat squirrels, she'll eat grouse, uh, she can eat snowshoe hares, she can take down things as big as foxes if she has to. Mm -hmm. um, wow. But the bigger the prey, the longer she's on the ground. Yeah the more likely it is that she might get injured by her prey or that the tussling with it might draw attention to her. And she really doesn't like that. She wants to, she's a wallflower. <laughs> she wants to sit in her tree, look like a tree, make sure nothing knows she's there. So if she's on the ground for ages fighting a fox, the whole forest is like, what's that? Oh dear. <laughs> so yeah. She's looking at you and like, what are you talking about? There's no foxes here. Okay, I know, she, she wants to sit higher up. But Aww. she settled in down here. Because you're I just high up. <laughs> Even though I trust the math and I can trust the physics, yeah. I'm like, nope. <laughs> uh, yep, I get you on that front, my love. It is. It's good. Beautiful. Very yeah. nice. But super high and only going higher. Oh my god. Oh wow. This is wow. Only enough I actually trust this more with the most support I see. With the less Baby, you need to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> yes it is. Huh. Infamous totem poles of Stanley Park.